Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a first impression on this product right here. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I know this is kind of a newer product and this came out not too long ago. And I really wanted to give it a shot only because I was running low on the concealer that I'm using currently. I picked mine up at Ulta and I have all the information on my phone. It was $8.50 and it looks like there are 24 shades. It says that it's a lightweight liquid concealer that won't transfer and has three major complexion must covers. Um, you can use it. Okay, so it's a matte formula. It camouflages imperfections, brightens up your face, contours features to perfection, and it's full coverage and it will last for 24 hours. I have no intentions of wearing this for 24 hours, but I will keep this on my face for a little bit. The shade that I got was beige. I went to Ulta and there weren't a lot of options. There were very limited shades available so this was the closest thing to my complexion so hopefully this is at least a decent match so i haven't even opened it yet i'm just gonna do all of that on camera normally i had every intention of trying this concealer out with the foundation i did a complete review and a first impressions on this but i am a little tanner i got super tanned and the shade is not matching me right now. So I instead I'm using a darker shade in my Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage. This is in the shade Golden, which is 312. So I'm going to be trying it out. If you guys are new to my channel, what I like to do is try out a product, do a first impressions, and then test out the product for a couple of weeks and then come back and give you my full thoughts on the product. I like trying out with different techniques and just different ways of applying it and just really giving the product a shot instead of just dismissing it right off bat. So this product has 0.11 fluid ounces and I'm just going to apply this as I would normally. And I don't have any concealer underneath my eyes and I'm not going to do any color correcting. We'll just see what it looks like today. So I'm just going to apply a very small amount first. I don't know if this product is going to dry too fast. So I'm just going to add a very small amount and work with it. The brush I am using is my Morphe E8 brush. This concealer is seen as pretty full coverage. I like to use a brush to really blend out the product and then go in with a very, with a smaller beauty blender to really get close to my eye area. So I actually didn't even need to go in with a beauty blender, but this seemed to blend out really, really nice. It is pretty full coverage and it brightened up pretty nice. The shade is a little bit more on the yellow side. I don't mind that, but let's see what it looks like on the rest of my face. So I'm just adding a little bit more concealer on this area just because this is where my dark circles tend to be the darkest. And I did notice with this concealer, you do have some time to, to blend out the product so it doesn't dry instantly, which is really nice. So I just want to see how well this builds up. So 
So I'm just going to take a damp beauty sponge and just blend everything out. So far the concealer is looking really good. It's a really nice brightening. It's it's a pretty good shade. I'm glad I went with this one. It's not too light and it's not too dark and it's not too yellow. I just used a very small amount and I just built up the product as I needed it. Um, I do have an issue with every concealer I use creasing underneath my eye area. So it is starting to crease a little bit. And what I like to do before setting my eyes, I set my eyes a little differently so I don't just go in with the setting powder. I need to go in with a loose powder and then I bake if that's what I'm going to do. Today I'm going to do that because I do plan on being out for quite a bit of the day. So what I normally do is set my eyes with a dry beauty blender, with the mini one, and then I go in really fast using my loose powder. What I'm going to be using is my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I mix the two shades, 25 and 10, to get my perfect shade. So that's what we're going to do. And I feel like the dry beauty blender works best for me. I'm taking a little bit of powder and it's setting. As you can see, I didn't use a lot of powder. I just want to set the concealer and then I'll go in with a baking powder. So I'm just taking the same powder and I'm just setting all the other areas very gently. So I am going to bake underneath my eyes and I have been loving my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And this is the original shade. And I'm just going in with my dry beauty sponge and just adding a small amount underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to bake my face for a little bit and I'm just going to dust everything off. This is the only way my concealer lasts. Doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter what concealer I'm using. Everything creases and this is just the way I like to set my face. Well, set my concealer at least. As you can see, I didn't leave the bake on for a long time. So this is what the concealer looks like pretty much set. I'm going to do my face off camera and when I come back, I'll let you know what I think about it. And yeah. So as you can see, my face is completely done. And with the concealer, I don't have any complaints about it. It did a really good job. It was very full coverage. You were able to build up the product. You had a lot of time to work with the product and once it was dried down, it was really dried down. I did have some issues with a little bit of creasing before setting the product, but that's just normal for me. It doesn't matter what concealer I use, everything always creases. So as you saw, I did bake my under eyes a little bit. That's just normally how I always set my under eyes in order for it to prolong the lifespan on my face, if that makes any sense but I'm pretty happy with it. I was really happy with the choice, what the color choice that I picked. In case I didn't say it, I am in the shade beige. A little went a really long way and I was able to build it up without it looking too cakey or just, everything just looks really smooth. So first impressions, I really like this. I don't have any complaints about it. I think eventually I will try out different shades. Like I said, when I went to Ulta, there weren't a lot of choices for me to pick from, so this was the closest bet. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it for the most part, so I hope this review helped you guys. I will try this out in the next couple of weeks, and then I'll film another video letting you know my final thoughts on it. 
I will try it with different foundations. I'll try it setting it my under eyes different ways just to see what's the best way for me and how it really holds up. And yeah, I guess that concludes this really quick. Well, hopefully this was a quick first impressions for you guys and I will see you in my next video. If you're not already, please subscribe, like, and comment and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.